Welcome to the latest anime news for the week ending December 18th, 2022, nearing the end of the year. We've got a lot on our plate tonight, so let us get into it. We got some weird stuff this week as well. Um, a new anime studio just dropped this video for a Castle Combiner Oshi Robots anime, <laughs> which features traditional Japanese castles transforming into giant robots. Yes. Ten-year-old me is just like, ah, I love <laughs> this. I want to watch this. It's every every uh, uh, gunpla. Yeah. Oh, dream. I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you're right. Yep. So um, now you got classic Japanese culture mixed with your favorite fighting robots. Perfect. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's very ridiculous. Uh, what's interesting about it is it's basically like an extended opening credit sequence. Yeah. Because um, mm -hmm. it's just like the, the, the castle is transforming and then you see these various kids who show up and they have these little like spirit animals. Um, and then these adults show up for some reason. Why do you need adults around? I don't know. And... Um, yeah, yeah the, kids just will, kind of... the kids will be fine. Don't worry about exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> and what we were discussing, and I'd love to get your guys' thoughts on, is like, what do you think is the purpose of this? Like, is this a stealth ad or something? Uh, <laughs> Bandai Namco I... <laughs> selling toys. Um, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, it works as a very effective, you're right, as a very effective intro to the actual anime. And it's like, other than that, why would you have made this entire thing? Well, yeah. I, you know, it's, you know, as John pointed out, gun plug, because I can totally see that. Um, yeah. You know, this is definitely a toy. And this is mm -hmm. kind of like a, is this an educational thing? Or is this, you know, like, is this one of those things where it's actually not really an anime for public consumption, but more along the lines of a teaching tool? I don't know. I, I don't know. And, you know, because they're, they're, because except for the, the, the one that appears to be feminine, in, in mm -hmm. the background there the yeah. other two are actually identifiable castles like i feel mm -hmm. like i can ident like if you were to show me a picture i would be able to oh yeah it's that mm -hmm. um but the other part of it is is that it could could it be and i forget which one of you said it um um a travel maybe yeah. like you know like uh, you know this mm -hmm. is you know well, that's what I was thinking for like funding. It's like Osaka yeah. Castle. Hey guys, yeah. we're gonna we, we're gonna do something yeah. with Osaka Castle. We could mm -hmm. choose another city, but if you guys want to get in on this, you know, mm -hmm. here's our idea. That's like yeah. I could see that for funding, but that doesn't explain why. I don't think a city, you right. know, some city would be like, yes, <laughs> this is a great yeah. way to get tourism. <laughs> like, have a exactly. Giant fighting castle. Like, <laughs> can you just imagine the kids going, "Where's the where's the mecca? Where's the mecca? Here's Osaka <laughs> Castle. Yeah. Is it gonna transform? No." <laughs> why am i here yeah i you know it makes me really want to like go and see where the promoter has put like giant hands on the sides of the castle yeah. <laughs> like, like wacky waving inflatable arm tube man put their, <laughs> put their arms they're just flapping around and be like oh that's so wrong <laughs> it's so brilliant but so wrong well, that's the weird thing is that um this is a, a project under mixy anime which is this new anime brand um, by a company called Mixie. Um, they produced it in collaboration with Studio G1 Neo, which is an anime studio that did, it worked on Gal Gygar, Guy King, uh, King of Fighters uh, 15, um, Prism Arc, um, X Driver the Movie, and uh, some stuff like from the from the 90s, including a, a few things that uh, we would have to talk about later in the evening. Um, you know, but uh, but yes, you know, they, they've, they've done stuff, they've been around. Um, and I mean, Directed by Masami Obari, who was a legendary mecha director, did Gravion, Gravion's Vibe, a bunch of different stuff. Um, and the narrator of this is freaking Megumi Hayashibara. Rei Ayanami narrates this short. So they're clearly putting some money into it. Um, they, they had a booth at the Shiro Expo 2022 um, in Kanagawa um, Prefecture, like this past weekend. And they had a, like a cardboard Kumamoto castle there. Uh, Kumoto Castle Robot, and they were handing out trading cards of this thing, of this, like, anime. Oh, is this a game, maybe? Maybe. Oh, yeah. That's a that good call. That could be a good way to go, because I was saying, it doesn't yeah. feel, 
I, I can understand if it was like a prestige piece to be like, this is our yeah. studio, what we yeah, can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I just in this day and age, I, I'm not sure that this would be the way that <laughs> I would imagine. So, not, not, I mean, I don't know. I don't work in the industry. Yeah, yeah. This might be right. exactly the thing where you're like, we're a new studio. We need to you know, bust some chops out of the gate. We're, we're, yeah. we're, we're going to do this thing like yeah. this. Well, it, it, but, I agree. It, it feels like if you're going to do that, you're going to do something like wildly experimental or like, yeah. you know, showing a, a lot of different things, not here's an idea for one show. Yeah. It's like it does show technical capability. I mean, sure. you've transformed yeah. a freaking castle into a <laughs> robot. <laughs> so that's that's an interesting dynamic of, of mm -hmm. architecture and robotecture. So, you know. Yeah, exactly. So, I don't know. I hope it becomes something. Like, this is a lot of fun to, to watch. Yeah, I'd like um, to see how they're going to develop this further. But, yeah, game exactly. sounds really like a, yeah. Yeah, that, that could go cool. really well for that. <laughs> Speaking of developing things further... Um, there is a My Hero Academia stage play in production or in, yeah. co incoming. Um, there is footage, there are wigs involved, there are wigs very heavily involved. Oh, wow, boy, <sighs> are there! Boy, are there! I want to see. I, I'm, so, I'm, <laughs> so, so, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this. I, I, I'm not very familiar with My Hero Academia. Mm -hmm. Um, I've seen a couple episodes, and I'm just mm, yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> the it's great for cosplay. You know, sure. like you see yeah. this all the time. Yeah. I remember it anymore. Mm. A guy dressed a cosplay as as the character that we see behind mm. the, the screen with the yeah, wig. Wig. Yeah. His wig was better. <laughs> I, wow. I, and anymore and anymore mm -hmm. it better. Yeah. And um, but I'm I'm curious about what they mean by the ultra stage. What does that mean? <laughs> are do are, are these gonna be like things that are gonna happen on stage? Is this like a 4D kind of experience? Mm -hmm. You know, what, what what is it? But nevertheless, it's just wiggle rama. I mean, it was <laughs> I'm like, well, it'll wow. be hard to get some of that hair with people's natural quality. You know, you know, yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah. And then I love the, how they play the the protagonist and they're just like, "Okay, let's get this sharpie on your face." Chomp, chomp, chomp. Here's your freckle. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Yeah, Deku's freckles are interestingly <laughs> applied. <laughs> but look more like ice pick wounds than they do actually freckles, but yeah, it's not important here. It, I think it's the fundamental problem that this stuff looks goofy in real life. Yeah. 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 You know, th this was not meant to wow. be shown in live action in any realistic way. It is very anime. It's very comic booky. Yeah. And so when you try to, you know, th these character designs are not like Superman. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's like this, this That's just, what makes uh, me kind of want to see it. It's like yeah. all the times we talked about stage shows, like mm -hmm. the little bit that we saw of this, I'm like, it just. I, I don't want it to be a train wreck, but mm -hmm. I just think visually it would be so interesting to yeah. see. And I'd mm -hmm. probably, if I was sitting watching it, I'd watch the audience like Steve said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I myself would just be going <laughs> yeah. the whole time. <laughs> My one disappointment, it's not a musical. Wait, it's not? It's not a musical as far it's as just it's just a stage, stage play. play. Oh my yeah. God. So, I, missed know, opportunity there. That's, in in that's all next seriousness, season. in all seriousness, <laughs> I thought it was a musical because I can't imagine this being a stage play. I mean, I literally, very, can't. It's very I serious literally can't. I literally can't. Oh my gosh. They mm -hmm. have Sir Patrick Stewart playing the part okay. of the <laughs> It's a very serious stage play. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Royal uh, Shakespeare Academy has mm. filled out the ranks for this stage play. Yes. Oh, God. Um, to be clear, this is um, My Hero Academia, the ultra stage Psycho no Hero, the best hero, which is the... fifth My Hero Academia stage play. There's been four others, um, and apparently this is the this is the one that sort of combines all the previous stage plays into oh. one story. Okay, so you get all of the various things. One oh, cohesive yes. stage play. Something like that. Cohesive, I maybe. I don't know. Word. <laughs> See, I was kind of secretly hoping for the song and dance routine as well. Exactly. But, you know. Yeah. I am academia. I am. Mac yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> when it comes to Broadway. Let's all get tickets. <laughs> all right. 
Speaking of stage plays, we're always getting a stage play of um, Mashley, Magic and Muscles. And I just had to mention this because of the concept. Um, it's set in a world where magic is used for everything. Uh, deep in the forest, there's a young man who spends all his time training and bulking up. Um, one day his life is put in danger because he can't use magic. So he has to use his muscles instead of magic. Can we hmm. look, at, oh, first of all, can we look any more like Harry Potter? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hog warts in the background there. The bar <laughs> and the, you know, the Granted, I love the it. symbolism of breaking the wand yeah, in his hand. Yeah. Um, powerfully trained muscles crush magic as this abnormal magical fantasy begins is the uh, is how it's described in this media uh by this hmm. media so i just think that is a ridiculous premise and yeah. i hope it comes off well and ridiculously in the stage play um also wanted to mention um we're getting a new season of nintama rentaros really? season 31 oh oh my god <laughs> jeez wow i had never heard of this anime before in my life, and it is already on season 31. This is a ninja anime that airs on NHK every morning. And it's just cute as a button. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, 10 minute episodes every weekday. Okay. Um, originally a manga, started as an anime in 1993. Oof. Wow. And it is still going. Two anime films, two live action films. How do wow. we not hear the yeah. first, where, where we and, and the first live action film directed by Takashi Miike? What? Yep. <laughs> None? And we're just hearing this now. And we're just <laughs> hearing about this. Like, I want to watch all of it now. Nintama wow, awesome. Rantaro. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I have I do not know. Um it's a it's a gag manga, Elite Ninjutsu Academy, Historical Japan, you know. Um uh, Nintama is a is ninja and tamago egg, oh, so puns yeah. apparently. So I don't know. I just thought that was weird. Yeah, I would have um, thought at some point in time want to come up with an anime watching party. Like I know, right? Yeah, you know, <clears throat> never never even saw it. Um, all right, let's move on to some anime announcements. I still yes. love that word. I still love it. Anime announcements. And I mean the big one this week, no question. How do you live has a Japanese theater date. So Hayao Miyazaki's mm -hmm. next film, I refuse to call it his final film, <laughs> is coming to Japanese theaters July 14th, 2023. And this is the poster. Or this is wow. the key image. Wow. So I wonder what streaming platform it will be available on when. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm sure it will be available on some streaming pla platforms July 15th. Uh, probably not ones that are Lic okay. <laughs> licensed streaming yes. platforms. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's well, a chance I mean, it could make the cycles to U.S. theaters. I mean, that, almost certainly. Almost, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There, there's no question that will make it to U.S. theaters. Hopefully yeah. not one night only kind of things, like maybe a weekend. So, uh, the Wind Rises was out for, I think, a week or two. Was it? Okay, because yeah. Bell was out for like three days. <laughs> and, and this isn't getting the Disney treatment, is it? What do you mean? It, it, is Disney going to be involved with this? Like, oh, I don't know. In terms of dist distribution. distribution yeah, I, so. I, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, th I, I believe the Disney deal was for everything up to that point. Okay. okay. I don't think anything, anything beyond that. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming G Kids <clears> will step it up. Yep. Well, you know. how much longer is G Kids going to be on HBO Max? HBO Max is mm -hmm. dropping everything right now. Yeah. Well, didn't 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 they migrate that stuff off HBO Max? And isn't it on other they? now too? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Huh. I, I think I recall HBO seeing Max is forever. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you, you know how this is going to end for Miyazaki. You know, we're mm -hmm. we're going to find him slumped over on the desk. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's never going to retire. Nope. Nope. No question. Um, so be curious to see. I'm I'm just curious to see that first trailer. Yeah, yeah. Like I really want to see where he's going with this because he's just gotten more and more esoteric as time goes on. So curious. 
Yeah, I'm curious. Other big announcement of the week. Not that there are there are a lot of other announcements, but the other big one this week, no question. Spy Family <laughs> confirmed season two and a movie. Yay! Both coming 2023. So everyone very happy about this. And this is an official illustration by the mangaka celebrating the the movie, which oh, is rather thanks. adorable. Hooray! Yes. Um, he will also supervise the film, which nice. is good to hear. Wow. And it will be an all-new work with an original story. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. So Lloyd and you are actually kiss. Yeah. Well, kiss knowingly, not like yeah. somebody's drunk yeah. <laughs> something happens. That would be a great um climax of the movie and a great like you know lead up in the trailer where like you know the, the trailer has that moment of the, the, their, their heads getting close and then yeah. cut away. Oh uh-huh. Absolutely. Squee. <laughs> so definitely looking forward to that. Yeah. Um I wonder if the second season will lead into the film or will otherwise tie into the film. Hmm. Who knows? Will we get out of East Berlin and mm -hmm. on to <laughs> the next mission? Mm -hmm. Will yeah. Operation Strix come to an end? Yeah, good question. Um, also getting an, some kind of anime adaptation of Akira Toriyama's Sandland. Yeah, Rather that's... exciting. Uh, this is the manga that Toriyama drew directly after Dragon Ball Z, um, after he got thoroughly sick of drawing Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Um, and I was like, okay, I'm going to do something else. And um, I remember when that came out, actually, and it was it very much felt like Toriyama stretching his his arms and going, okay, I'm going to do something really different, really, really, you know, um, uh, stretching myself imaginatively. And it's not very long, just a few issues, I think. Um, and it's basically this the devil boy in the desert, um, uh, trying to avoid a sandworm, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, kind of a, a little bit of a coming of age story, if you will, of, of him. So, yeah, after seeing the trailer, I'm definitely intrigued to, to, to see more of this. Yeah, <clears throat> the way that looked, that was cool. Yeah, yeah, it's all CGI, but they like very heavily cell shaded, stylized. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you don't get a whole lot of the weird. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're, they're, they're putting some budget into it. They know they know what Toriyama's name means. I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, also, big news in the world of Pokemon. Oh yes, um, Ash is retiring. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this wow. uh, upcoming, I think, twelve episodes uh, in the new year will be the end of Ash's story. So they say in the announcement trailer. And then they're going to replace him with these two kids as the protagonists of the Pokemon TV anime moving forward. So Ash wins the championship mm -hmm. and That's retires. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yep. Or, or so. he wakes up from the coma. Yeah. <laughs> well, or his head gets taken off by Pokemon at some point. Yeah. It's Devouracon. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Ash got eaten. No. Oh. So yeah, who knows what that ending will be like? You know how, you know what's going to happen. Uh, will Team Rocket finally win for once? Who knows? Um, Maybe they'll retire too, and we'll get a new team. Yeah, yeah, it could be. Yeah, who knows? Um, they're pretty obsessed with Ash. It seems like if Ash retires, like they're gonna, they'll have no one else to go after. They're gonna be. They're gonna be the retirement home next door. And, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. and it's yeah. and they're rockers on the front porch. Damn you, yeah. Ash! Yeah. <laughs> Where's, where's wave my cat? cane at you. Yeah. Throw the cat at him. <laughs> hey, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> so definitely exciting times. People have been talking a long time about Ash feeling a little long in the tooth, as in yeah. protagonist of Pokemon. So we'll see where it goes. Will people follow over to the two new protagonists? Yeah. Or are we seeing that the moment where Pokemon's mm. about to jump the shark? <laughs> yeah, good question. Very good question. You never know. You never know. Pokemon has been remarkably resilient, but yep. you know nothing lasts forever. <laughs> say Ash has been so core to so much of this mm -hmm. this franchise that it's like, yeah, mm. yeah. This is weird to think there are children crying about this right now. Yeah, yeah. where they There's grew probably up with some Ash. adults who are yeah, actually exactly. crying. That's about true. This yeah. Right now. <laughs> Yeah, but this is somebody that's been with you all your life, you know. 
And uh, now moving on. I don't know. Now, will they yeah. retire Pikachu? Oh, good point. There's no Pikachu in this. Yeah. In Does this Pikachu shot. retire Pikachu with Ash powerful. and they just chill out? <laughs> Pikachu's with his horn. <laughs> Puts Pikachu out to pasture. Yeah. <laughs> Ash is retiring because he had to put Pikachu down. I'm sorry. We don't, oh, no. no he's that putting, got dark. He's putting Pikachu out of the stud farm so Pikachu can, can well, live now. a happy life. No, we just went well, in the now. opposite direction. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's better than putting Pikachu down. Good Lord. <laughs> Oh, um, <laughs> oh, moving, right moving on. on. <laughs> I, 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 I'm trying to figure out a segue that isn't creepy, <laughs> and it's really hard. Um, I, let's just say it. I've I've done my work here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, other new TV anime coming. Blue Exorcist is getting a new TV anime. Oh, yes, wow. I saw that. Oh, which is a little surprising. Um, I didn't realize there was an. Like a film, anime film of this, like back in 2017. Yeah. Um, so there's been a, a little bit of a round, but uh, an announcement trailer with mostly just sketches. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's, it's coming back. Yeah, I saw that was coming. I I, I watched the 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 original arc, and mm. then they did a Kyoto arc, which I only mm. got partially through, and I was like, yeah. ah, mm. I can't really. So when I saw this, I'm like, please let's dial it back into the original arc, mm. so that I I. I more committed to those characters in the in the way that they are at that that way. So yeah, we'll see. So so Brent, remember <clears throat> that disappointing meal that you had here in Baltimore at the uh, the the oh yeah the, yeah mm -hmm. right. If you had gone further back, there okay. there, was, there was a ramen place. Mm -hmm. The former owner was a huge fan of this, yeah. and he played it. So you uh, could watch it. You could actually eat your ramen mm -hmm. and, and and watch it. Oh, cool! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blue Exorcist and Ramen. Yes. Yeah. Lovely better. Um, also some announcements of just of the general sort of light novel to anime variety this week. Uh, Unnamed Memory, Ooh. light novel series, getting a, uh, a TV anime. I believe this is, um, um, I don't remember what this one is. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, yes. So a Crown Prince um, has been cursed to never have an heir. He goes to find a witch who will break the curse. And, of course, they falls fall in love. love. Right, exactly. And wants her to become his bride and help him sire his heir, apparently. Um, so, yes, there's a, a, a brief trailer showing her, and she looks pretty. So that is coming at some point. It is a pretty cover there. Yeah. yeah. That's the very, side. very nice. And that is a, a promo for the anime, like not the okay. anime. Okay. So, yeah, it looks looks very nice. We'll see how coming. Coming since in twenty twenty three. Since we've gotten through Katarina Kleiss, and we've gotten through the this oh, latest yeah. incarnation with the I I seduce the devil lord so that I oh the I I I I'll I'll be on board with this too. I mean, it's a nice love story kind of thing going on. Thank you for the segue, John. Ha ha. <laughs> 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 I, I did something right. <laughs> yeah. It's a TV anime. The main character is a, uh, a female office worker who's working herself to death. Um, she has fallen for the <laughs> girl in her favorite Otome game. She likes her for some reason. And then, of course, dies and finds herself in the Otome game. And so decides, to heck with all the guys. I'm going to romance the evil, you know, rich girl. In the oh, in the game, so yes. I'm gonna watch that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, excuse me, bless you, bless you. Ooh, thank you. So that is coming. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, we're also getting um, uh, <coughs> bless you again. My thank goodness. you, bless your COVID. I mean, bless you again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're also getting an adaptation of. Uh, uh, Another TV anime for Ark Knights. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, you don't have a, an image for that one yet. I can't find anything. But it is um, so Ark Knights, very popular mobile game anime style. Uh, there was a TV anime of that I think last year or very recently, and then recently there's going to be a, another TV anime coming out of that. Uh, no word of it's like a direct sequel or, or not, but more Ark Knight anime. Yeah. Hmm. yeah I've um, seen a lot of Ark Knight. Um figma figures nendoroids like mm. regular statue figure kind of stuff and i 
I, they look neat. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, awesome visuals. Definitely. Okay. Like, you know, I love the like the the outfits and this the, the clothing and so forth. Um, uh, just gonna get into the game. Yeah. Um, is it just like a straight up fighting game where you're just you and it's, fight it's like a bad a, guy? Um, no, but it's 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 kind of a tower defense game, I think. So it's like you, you put your characters like on a path. And other enemies are coming in, and you're trying to like take them out before they get to the other side. So it's like oh. little chibi characters that you're just kind of oh. popping down and, and okay. doing. So like, there's there's definitely a story, but like the actual mm -hmm. gameplay is just this sort of okay. other character. Yeah, I've seen a lot of those advertised. Yeah, like that mm -hmm. kind of. Okay. Yeah. They'll they'll never be, demo. Demo. They can demo. never be demo. 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 Um, we're also getting some a couple of VTubers are getting an anime. So Crone Noir is a pair of VTubers who are getting um, some kind of short anime coming soon. Uh, Crone Noir Episode Zero coming in 2023. Uh, this is a visual for it. Um, <coughs> funky. The, the anime tells yeah. a story from 150 years ago. Um, a strange disease creates undead, um, so forth and so on. Um, I, I do appreciate this. Um, Niji Sanji, their, their, their company, uh, describes uh, Kanae, one of them, as a sweet boy with a healing personality who holds a cat cushion. And okay. the other is a neat vampire gamer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Good Hi. Sure. Fine. All right. Interesting. Um, and to be clear, like that is their VTuber personalities, the anime characters we do right. from that. But still. All right. All right. Fine. Looks cool. Who knows? Um, and then kind of finally, reminds me vaguely of a common area of the Iron Fortress. It kind of has that okay. kind of yeah. aesthetic to okay. it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Fair. Fair. Uh, and then finally this week, uh, DMM TV has announced a, uh, a an anime called Space Idol, short anime called oh. Space Idol, coming to their platform, um, focusing on a four member four member girl idol group. Trying to win fame in space. Space. Pigs in space. 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 And they all forget to put on their helmets before they go out of the airlock. <laughs> oh, no. The leader of the group is Kaede Hondo, who has a lot of anime credits to her name. Uh, Bofuri, Chiyo School Road, Demon Slayer, minor character. Uh, I'm quoting heroing, girlish number, um, uh, katana maidens, you know, love yeah. live. So definitely uh, we, met, we got a comedian putting the scripts. So it sounds like a very goofy, fun kind of a uh, kind of thing. Well, is that going to be on our watch list if it's a short anime? Could be. Who knows? We'll, mm. we'll have to see. Uh, moving on to just some anime news. Just normal news about so anime. Just news. Here's some here's some news. crap for you. There's just, just, just stuff. <laughs> stuff happening. Fill it. Um, <laughs> exactly. Um, there's this new thing being organized by the Japanese External Trade Organization. Uh, they're collaborating with five different anime studios to launch Kickstarters for new anime projects by those studios. So apparently they're trying to kind of work with these companies to help kickstart some anime um, studio 4c is one of them but they haven't announced their project yet public arts is uh doing um they're, they're trying to launch a project called last diviner hana that's the upper left of this i am intrigued group. by that one um hana is an onyoji you know sort of spiritual medium type living at the end of the edo period that's basically all we know Hmm. Um, uh, we also do know that the the uh, person in charge of the uh, uh, project actually studied with a professor of history at Kyoto Women's University on it. Hmm. So trying to do that in there, we'll see how Some that goes. Historical interest. I hope that exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm intrigued by that one. Uh, upper left is called Samurai Pirates. In case you couldn't tell, <laughs> um, the TV series based on original concept uh, aimed at children. Um, follows a popular singer on an island, receives a magical pirate eye patch, 
uh, which purifies the hearts of people who are transformed into Oni. She get, gets some friends together. They form this group called the Samurai Pirates, using song and dance to purify the hearts of Oni. Um, yeah. Described as fun, filled with music, color, and action, action, suitable for kids of all ages, as there is no violence or inappropriate content of any kind. Huh. Kind okay. of interesting. Okay. Yeah. Um, then moving on to, uh, let's see here, lower left uh, by Gorilla, an animated anthology project called Top The Top Loft. Um, this is meant to be anime for young children, um, five to seven minute long episodes aimed at preschool aged uh, kids. The idea is that there are um, three children who accidentally wander into a mysterious universe filled with like friendly kaiju, so friendly giant monsters. Okay. Um, yeah. And um, uh, each of the kids will have very unique personalities, and it will kind of deal with real life scenarios, teaching kids about such things. Where the wild things are, but with three kids. Exactly. Hmm. Um, and then lower left is Ekura Animals Project, Heike Monogatari and Maki. Hmm. They want to use an experimental art style using paper cut artwork combined with music and voice acting, telling the true story of the rise and fall of the Heike clan. Ooh. Oh yeah! <laughs> Jeez, That's after watching that anime, oh. the winner. Oh. Oh, so it's that. It's very much that. Please take uh, my money. <laughs> yeah, right. And this is what's great about this. All you know, um, certainly, Samurai Pirates, Top Loft, and this are all things that would not find like traditional funding easily. Right. Yeah. It's great for Kickstarter to see if you can get those off the ground. Yeah. Um, and uh, Last Divine Hada also is again one of the things like I'll, I'll pay for it. Yes, please. Yeah. So we'll see. Also interesting, this is Kickstarter, not like Japanese funding platforms, oh. which is kind of unusual as well. Okay. That it's a you know international funding, so hopefully like this would be open to international pledges and such. So yeah, open. we'll see if the entire globe kicks in a buck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, also, some sad news this week. Mm. Brace yourselves, everyone. <sighs> Viz is raising the subscription price for the English Shonen Jump service. Mm. It's going to all the way to three dollars. I know, I know. It's tough in these the end harsh times. economic times. These dark times have come. I'm exactly. outraged. <laughs> Yeah, it was two dollars a month. Now it's gonna be three dollars a month. Um, also, will not support PayPal. Oddly, I don't know will why not that's... support. Yeah, really they're they're, they're ceasing PayPal support. I don't know. Maybe some okay. fee thing. I don't know. Um, so yes, FYI, hmm. you know, go down the, uh, behind the cushions of your couch, scrounge out that money <sighs> to somehow manage to afford. How dare they? How dare they? Shonen Jump. The audacity of them exactly. all. Exactly. God, I wish my streaming channels would call. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, no joke. Um, also, this week, news stories we want to mention and talk about, but we not necessarily go into as much detail. But maybe we will. Uh, the first <laughs> slam dunk film, and I apologize. The title is literally the first slam dunk. That is the name of the movie, so it's very confusing. To talk about. Um, it is number one at the box office. Oh, huh. um, it sold over 500,000 tickets over the weekend, earning about six million US dollars from Friday to Sunday. Wow, um, um uh, it has a cumulative, cumulative just over two million tickets for a cumulative total of 22 million US dollars. So, good job. Also, number one in its opening weekend. Well done to Slam Dunk. Uh, however, Makoto Shinkai's Suzume. Um, is now the 68th highest earning film ever in Japan, the number 16th highest earning anime film of all time in Damn. Japan. Yeah, well, yeah. congrats on that. Wow. Exactly. Uh, uh, um, it managed to pass Shin Godzilla. Good for <laughs> that. Um, thus far ahead of it are, um, <laughs> well, uh, your name and um, weather with you, uh, Demon Slayer, six various Ghibli films, 
um, One Piece film Red, Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, The Last Evangelion film, and three Detective Conan films have earned more in Japan. Conan, don't count it out. Never count it out. And to this day, I've yet to see a single Conan episode. Yeah. Really? Mm. Just, we hmm. will fix that at some point. Yeah. It's fun. Um, I, speaking... I literally thought it was just a, it was a little kid. Like it was oh, just yeah. a, a little kid's investigation story. What, but like um, designed for like preschoolers. I thought that was like the oh, target gotcha. audience. Oh, yeah, so yeah, I was yeah, just yeah. like, yeah, yeah. oh, it's just this little kid's <laughs> thing. It's primary yeah, colors. Gotcha, yeah. and it's all exciting like that. Mm -hmm. But and no, then apparently the not. Yeah, from what you guys told me, I'm like, <laughs> oh, I totally had no idea what this <laughs> yeah. show was about. Ah, gotcha. Understandable. Yeah. Um, speaking of films, Misaki Yawasa's Inu O has been nominated for a Golden Globe. Oh. Mm. For Best Motion Picture Animated. So good for Inu O. Damn. I definitely want to get a, a look for that. Yes, please. Um, it, it is only the third anime feature film to be nominated for a Golden Globe. The previous mm. were The Wind Rises and Mirai. Oh, Dang. wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime, Scarlet Bond film, will come to the U.S. on January 20th. Yay. Oh. So those who want to see that, um, it is being brought over by Crunchyroll in uh, in the U.S. for that. Uh, it'll also be premiered in U.K., Ireland, Australia, Mexico on uh, similar dates, uh, as well as the Middle East and other, other territories later in 2020. Huh. Cool. Um, so that is awesome for that. Um, I just had to mention this. It almost made it into into uh, weird news. I just enjoyed this. Um, remember Pupa, the the anime series Pupa that everyone hated. Um, I remember the name. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember what it was about though. Um, very much sort of body horror kind of kind of story. Is it bugs like killing people yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, 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 the inside kind of crazy stuff. Yeah. The mangaka behind that is launching a new manga uh, titled Girl Meet Girl Meet as in Meet. M-E-A-T. M-E-A-T, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, it is, the story is about a naive high school girl uh, who meets an introverted pig girl. Um, and they form a friendship and spend their youth in a mysterious world with uh, different species coexisting. So... Oh. Yes, uh -huh. it's, it's gonna be an interesting one, I think. Uh, yeah. I, just, I just like that one. Uh, Netflix has announced they want to do a live action My Hero Academia film. Good luck. Uh, gonna add yeah. the drag, Dragon Ball Z, uh, uh category. Uh, <laughs> here we go. No, yeah. Um, Joby Harold is running the screenplay, he did Obi Wan Kenobi, Army of the Dead, uh, and the upcoming Transformers movie. Okay. There's another well, Transformers movie. There's yeah, always another Transformers movie. There's always a, it, it, it's uh, it's the Beast ones, the Jungle yeah, Beast Rise ones Beast. this time. Yeah. yeah. The Dinobots? No. No. no, no, no. Literally, uh, literally Beast Jungle Wars. Beast Beast Wars. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, they they brought Dinobots back in like three, I think. Yeah. Like the third movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See how much I paid attention. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've seen none of them. I'm surprised I know that much about it. Yeah. Um, finally, moving on to some sad news. Um, singer Ichiro Mizuki passed away this yes. week at the age of 74. Oh, actually, I, I forgot. There we go. Um, I have some the actual titles. Um, age of 74. Um, he'd been having health issues for a while, um, for about a, uh, about a year. Um, um, known as the Emperor of Anime Songs, uh, debuted as a singer in 1968, and he uh, sang. Captain Harlock, Godanner, Voltron, Voltus V, Combatler V, New Common Rider, a bunch of other things, and a lot of the Mazinger Z. Um, yeah, wow. kind of sequence. <clears throat> so he uh, sadly passed away this week, again at the age of 74. Uh, Mangaka Yuki Hijiri of Lock the Superman also passed away this week at the age of 72. Um, also worked on some other things uh, naturally. Um, and then uh, finally, mangaka um, uh, Satomi Mikuriya passed away at age of 74, which is notable because he was the creator of Nora, of Nora Twinkle Rock Me fame. Oh, oh, Twinkle, what? Nora Twinkle Rock Nora Me. Twinkle, no, remember we were. Yeah, we talked about last week. Oh, yeah, they had the, the, the animation problems. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah. The, the legendary OVA that was very badly animated, we will yes. say. Um, so, yes, Pathway undergoing medical treatment again. Um, yeah. But uh, he he done work on a few other things, character designs for Crusher Joe and Big Wars and, and such. Okay. Um, but yes, kind of a odd connection there between everything this week. That's all the news for this week. Thanks for watching. See you all later.